Hi, in this video I continue with another selection tool, the Caesar Select tool, which allows us to select shapes using intelligent edge fitting and the keyboard shortcut for this tool is I. Let's see how this tool works. To start a selection, you just click on the desired point and you create a starting point of the selection. Then you can click and hold down the mouse button and just drag and position this, let's say over here, and release the mouse button. I will try to select this car here, so now I have created one segment of this selection. I can continue by clicking again and just position the other point, let's say over here, and continue doing this. Also, you can reposition the points by clicking, holding down the mouse button, grabbing this point and you can move it around and reposition it. If you want to create another point in between two points, you can click over here, for example, and this will create another point, reposition it, release the mouse. Over here in the tools options, most of the options I've already discussed in previous videos. They are shared in between selection tools. The mode already discussed the anti-aliasing and feather edges already talked about it in the previous selection tool videos. There is one new option, interactive boundary, which is very useful when using this tool. If we turn this on and then continue with the selection here, I'll just click and you see now how this is showing us where the selection will be applied. And if at some point it starts to fail doing what you want to do, you can just release over here, create a point and then continue. Now, unfortunately, this tool doesn't have any options that allow us to control how this tool is deciding where to apply the selection. So in areas where we have a big difference between the color of pixels, for example, over here, this is white and this is green and it's doing a pretty good job. But if we get over here, let's continue with the selection. And if you get over here where there's not that much of a difference between uh, the color of over here and here you will see that it's starting to fail making a proper selection and you can start move around try to get a good job but you're never going to get really that good results let's finish with this car and to finish the selection to close it when you get to the starting point and mouse over it you see this sign appears over the scissor just click and this will close the selection and now you you have this uh, circle over the scissor which indicates that if we click here this will apply the selection you can also do it with the enter key once the selection is made we can for example uh, isolate this on a white background we can go ahead and invert the selection go to select invert then we can hit the delete key Control shift a to deselect and you can see the result and even in places where the selection appeared to be applied very well you see that we have these jagged edges over here as well it doesn't look very good you can try using feathering edges trying to play with the selection more to get a better result but the fact is that this tool it's not one of the best selection tools and the time you're going to spend to try to perfect a selection with this tool is not going to be worth it. the result. I much prefer using other selection methods which produce much better results even though they're more time consuming. I hope in a future major version of, of GIMP we can see a better Caesar Select tool as it is very easy to use. It could save you a lot of time but Unfortunately, the results are not very good. I hope this video was useful. If it was, like it, leave me a comment, tell me what you think about the Caesar Select tool. Do you use it? Do you like it? If you are new to my tutorials, visit my channel for more. 
Also, you can join me on Konos, which is a website where you can find a lot of uh, courses on different topics. I recently joined myself. Link to my profile is in the description of this video. And that's it for this one. Bye for now.